So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to install Stable Diffusion using Comfy UI for AMD. Now the setup that I've got here is the standard setup. So you can see we've got the Dream Shaper checkpoint, which is one we're going to be downloading for this setup and we've also got the image that we've created here so we're going to be using for this particular setup i'm going to be using a gpu which is built into the cpu it's called an apu and it's one of the most popular forms of a gpu for amd but you can use this with discrete graphics cards as well now for our setup we use anaconda so you're going to need to have anaconda and we're also what you'll find, or at least what I find here, is that gives me a warning saying that the operator, this, that, that, and the other, is not supported and will fall back to run on the CPU. Now, because I'm running a built-in GPU, that seems to indicate there's a problem, so it's going to be operating on the CPU. However, the actual reality is that when I look at the GPU usage, this guy here goes right up to 100% when we're running the when we're running Stable Diffusion. So it is running on the GPU. So hopefully that's going to be the case whether you're using the same setup I've got or whether you're using a discrete graphics card. We're going to start off by installing Anaconda. This is free to download. And we also need to install Git for Windows. So I'll have links to these. And we're also going to be using Dream Shaper 8. You can use any checkpoint that you want to use with Comfy UI. It should work fine. Uh, this one is just two gigabytes to download and it works very well. Now, once you've got your Git installed, you've got your Anaconda installed, we're going to open up the Anaconda prompt and we're going to navigate to the to the directory where we're going to install Comfy UI. Recommend a minimum of about 10, 20 gigabytes of storage. Once we're here, we're going to enter a bunch of commands that will do the installation process. The faster your internet speed, the faster everything is going to run. So we'll start off, well, we'll start off by using this command here, conda create minus n comfy ui python equals 3.10.12. We've got some stuff going on here, which hopefully will not be going on on your PC. That's because I've got everything already installed. I'm going to hit yes to this. You probably won't find anything like this on your system. But after dealing with that little warning, it basically comes up with a whole bunch of text here. We probably don't need to worry about this too much. We just need to hit proceed why and it will start doing its stuff it's going to be downloading stuff and installing stuff once that's done we have the option to activate the environment so i'm going to in input the command conda activate comfy ui and uh, we hit enter and there we are that was pretty neat pretty simple the next thing is going to be an important step and the amount of time that it's going to take will vary depending on your you know, speed of your internet uh, we need to input the command git clone https this web, ad web address and when we hit enter it's going to clone the comfy ui repository into our directory now at this stage you should be inside your directory where you're installing comfy ui where you have installed comfy ui we'll have this comfy ui uh, right at the beginning whereas we had base before right at the beginning what we're going to do at this stage is to just basically do a dir so that shows us what's actually installed and there's a directory there called comfy ui so we'll change to comfy ui and there we are now here we should be able to do our main installation the the, the rest of our installation is going to be inside of this comfy ui directory the next command and just move this up a little bit. It's going to be this command here. It's a fairly long command, but essentially it's installing all of this stuff here. Uh, I'll have all of the details you need to install at every stage in, in accompanying material. So <laughs> you don't have to, to remember this. Just input that. It will begin to, to, to do quite a bit of work. And again, it may take longer on some systems on my system is probably not going to take very long at all. Now, while this is doing its thing, we can go ahead and install the Dream Shaper 
inside of Comfy UI. So the Comfy UI directory will be here and we can just go and double click and then we can go down to models and inside of models, we've got checkpoints. I can go ahead and just paste the, the Dream Shaper checkpoint here. There we are. And once the Dream Shaper checkpoint is installed there, we probably don't need a VAE, but if I had a VAE, I would put it inside the, the, the VAE directory here. So checkpoints, we've got Dream Shaper there and the VAEs. If you have a VAE, you can put it in the VAE folder. We're going to go back up to Comfy UI and uh, we'll continue with the Anaconda prompt. Now this guy here has finished, so we can, the uh, prompt is finished. We can go ahead and put in the next command, which is going to be pip install minus R requirements. And again, this is going to take a little bit of time depending on how fast your internet is. Now we are nearing the end. One next command is going to be pip install torch minus direct ML. This guy here should be one of the last commands that we actually input. And once we've done, we can then try to, we may need to do some troubleshooting just in case there's anything wrong with the installation. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to see if we can actually get it to run now. So Python, we're going to put main.py and dash dash direct ML. And hopefully this will work. Okay. It's, thrown up a few errors, I think. So we'll need to take a look at that. But the main thing is that we've got to see GUI, to see the uh, graphical user interface, go to this web page here. We're going to copy that and put it inside of Chrome. Now, when you paste the address inside of Chrome, you should get Comfy UI coming up and uh, it will look a little bit different from this when it first comes up. It'll You can hit load default if you want to, uh, anytime you want to. We can, we can see here Dream Shaper 8. It produces beautiful images by default. On my system here, particularly with the video recording, it can run a little bit slow to complete 20 samples. But if you have a discrete graphics card, it's actually going to be pretty quick. And also I do have a course on Comfy UI. If you want to learn more about how Comfy UI works, there's a whole course here and a couple of other courses that follow on from this. If you want to learn about that, there'll be some links in the description and you will be able to take yourself from zero to hero.